All right, today is January 27th, 2015, and this is a video I almost didn't make, which actually I did the recordings, and I was double-checking on these ingredients, and I was going to scrap it, but then I changed my mind, and this is why. Now, do you know it's been 1,390 days since the Fukushima meltdown? So that means that there's been approximately about 417 million gallons of highly radioactive uh, material that was uh, uh, put into the Pacific Ocean. Did you know that as of March 10th, 2014, that the FDA has only tested 225 samples of seafood for the Fukushima contamination? And I would bet le less than a couple handfuls were actually salmon. So the reason why I did this is I was looking at these ingredients and it contains these uh, chlorides, potassium chloride. So that's going to be radioactive. And I figured, you know what? The radiation is probably coming from some of that potassium chloride and some of these other ingredients that are in here. Just a heads up to let you know that there's very few uh, sea samples that are actually being tested for human consumption. I would say that there is absolutely no testing for radiation in pet food. So what I'm going to do is, this is the very top of the pile. I'm going to dump half the bag out and do another test. January 27, 2015, and this is the test on the salmon pet food. 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 4,002 total counts. 4 is the max data point. Point 0.67 is the average data point. Now this is, this is the top of the bag. I'm going to do another one in the middle. Alright, this is test two on the salmon pet food, and I got it in the middle of the bag. Took half of it out and put it in the middle. January 27, 2015, and this is the second test on the salmon pet food. 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 3,988 counts. 5 is the max data point. Point 0.66 is the average data point. Alright, this is where I'm doing the background reading for this bag of salmon pet food. So I have it elevated above the table so it's getting nothing off of that. January 27, 2015. And this is the background for the salmon pet food. 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 2,837. 5 is the max data point. Point 0.47 is the average data point. My conclusion on the salmon pet food is I guess even if the radiation isn't from Fukushima, the pet food is pretty radioactive to begin with. Like I said, very little of the salmon that we humanly consume is being tested, let alone for the pet food. So this is just a heads up, that's all. Background. Salmon pet food. Background. Salmon pet food. Background. Salmon pet food. Background. Salmon pet food.